Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the New Hampshire International Speedway for the New Hampshire 60. This is going to be race number seven in the More Freedom Series, season four. And there's been a change at the top of the points, so let's go through those real fast. Your points leader will be the 49 of Jetman, and in second will be the number three of Geek Girl Games. Third will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Fourth will be the 88 of NM. Fifth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Sixth will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. Seventh will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Eighth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Ninth will be the number 20 of Adam B5000. And rounding out your top 10 will be the number 13 of King of the Aces. So that's a look at your top 10 in points. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. MBR still leads the way with Aces to Zed second. Douche Motorsports third. Amish Buggy Racing fourth, and rounding out the top five will be G3 Motorsports. Your chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that is a look at all your point standings here today for this New Hampshire 60. <laughs> yes, New Hampshire 60. They are getting these cars fired up, round... And all the stuff they're getting them they're getting them all wound up and all that and the crowd is already filing in they're excited about this race i am too so let's go racing let's go through your starting top 10 today for this new hampshire 60 starting on the pole will be the 999 of deviant and on his outside the 72 of duchess starting third will be the 203 of signs and on his outside the 88 of nm Starting fifth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, and on her outside, the 34 of Super Snake. Starting seventh will be the 07 of Douche Baggins, and on his outside, the double zero of Mudbone. Starting ninth will be the 11 of TC Roberts, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 20 of Adam B5000. So Deviant back with the Drop Bear, new back into the series with the Drop Bear Racing Team. Puts his car, that 999, the In-N-Out Burger Toyota, out there on the pole for the Drop Bear Racing Team. Uh, his teammates are starting uh, 21st and somewhere else. <laughs> 21st and 22nd. But Deviant is leading us down to take the green flag here today. Down the front stretch, green flag is out. And we are underway for this New Hampshire 60. Get my brain working as the 999 of Deviant out to the front right now with the 72 of Duchess on his outside. Right behind him is that 203 of Signs trying to take away the second position and the third position or the fourth, third, third now. He's trying to get more positions on the track than what he is right now. But that 999 of Deviant has some contention on the outside by the 72 of Duchess as we're double file down the front stretch after one lap here. Duchess is working that Sugarland Shine Chevy for Douche Motorsports really hard on the outside right now. She is trying to keep up with the 999 of Deviant as well as that 88 of NM. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scoring across the top as the 999 of Deviant. Not going to lead that lap. It's led the first couple laps, but Duchess powering that Chevy for Douche Motorsports out to the front. They are just double file all the way back through the field right now as the 999 of Deviant starting to lose it on, down on the inside. So I'm very surprised right now that the inside line is doing so well here at uh, New Hampshire, or uh, the outside line is doing so well here at New Hampshire. Also, I think Duchess just has a fantastic car underneath her here today. Starting on the outside pole, I mean, I would think that she has a, a pretty decent chance to win this car, win this race here today. As we watch her still battle with that 999 of Deviant, a little squirrely there through the turn for both the 999 and the 72. As we see the 88s, as we do see that 72 of Duchess able to take that position away, she is now out to the front solely in the lead here by the 999 of Deviant as we see the 88 of NM still on the outside of that 203 of Signs. 
Sainz has had a pretty decent car here this year for Douche Motorsports in his first season in the More Freedom Series. Uh, definitely has had some bad breaks, late, pit, late race pit stops, and just involved in a really tough caution early on in one of the races. Ended up finishing seven or eight laps down. But other than that, he has had a fantastic car, and that 88 of NM also... That Mopar Dodge for MBR has been a pretty spectacular for him so far this season. I believe he's got a win early going here in the season for that 88. Again, sat on top of the points for a couple weeks. Back to fourth right now. Third on the track, fourth in the points as we see the 203 assigns back to fourth. Here comes another two Douche Motorsports cars, the 07 of Douche Baggins and that 329 of heck of a duber so what is that four of the six douche motorsports cars currently running in the top 10 with duber running seventh right now check in on your leader that 72 of duchess she hasn't quite pulled away too much from the 999 of deviant putting up about you know a couple tenths of a second right now that's about the gap from deviant to nm as well Keep jumping back through this field as we see the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum, who, hey, Frederick isn't last place on this season right now. Currently running 20th, 20th in points on the track right now behind the double zero of Mudbone, the Daytona winner. As we see the 40 of Veteran Chaos to the back bumper of that 544, that 20 of Adam B5000 who started 10th. Currently getting pushed back right now. He is now running in the 12th position. Probably falling back a little bit more as we see the number 10 of Scooter in the 799 of Mike Check right there. Pulling in to the inside of that 20 of Adam B5000 as we see a few more MBR cars lined up here. As we see that three of Geek Girl Games jumping down to the inside of the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Right behind her is going to be the 25 of JTM and the 96 of Nico, as well as that 51 of AJM. Keep jumping back through this field a little bit as we see the 51 down to the inside of the 300. Right behind that 51 is going to be the 211 of Hogs. Point later right here, the 49 of Jetman, currently running in the 23rd position. Jetman started 23rd on the day, so start running where he started from right now but we can see back here in the very back of the pack right now fighting for last place is going to be the last week's winner that 420 at queen of hearts the 33 of harvey jones and the 95 of zed brunna we'll check in after seeing that beautiful orange and black dodge challenger pace car we'll check in on your leader the 72 of duchess who has pulled her lead out to about half a second now over second place that 999 of deviant so duchess uh, haven't talked about her much this season as she currently runs 19th in the points. And so, yeah, not much to talk about with the 72. A lot of other stuff to talk about with her teammates, but not too much with this car. As Duchess, currently your leader as we see almost a fight for the second position between the 999 of Deviant and that 88 of NM. NM was looking down to the inside of the, of the 999. Currently 12 laps down of the 60 laps here today at New Hampshire. So I feel like it's going to be a short race. Uh, currently our lap times are 28 point, our fastest lap was by the 40 of Veteran Chaos at 28.319 seconds or 134.496 miles per hour. So I feel like this is going to be a... Uh, Kind of a short race here today if they keep this going and uh, we're going to see when they start doing pit stops. So I think if it's anything like last week, I think it was about lap 18 when they had to bring these cars in for the pit into the pits for service. So we're currently running lap number 14 as we do see the 999 and the 88 working together to try to catch up to that 72 of Duchess. So Duchess, who had put up about a half a second, I think it's about about two tenths of a second right now. So Duchess is, I mean, she's doing pretty good. She is keeping that car out to the lead as these tires wear off. Uh, we'll see what happens as we do see a battle for the second position between the 88 of him and that 999 of Deviant. 
Deviant able to power himself on the outside, so the outside line, while traditionally the slow line, it's still actually doing fairly well here today at New Hampshire. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of a relatively cold day, as I think it's like in the 60s here today for the race, and a little bit of wind, clouds, 60s, so maybe they're able to just get these cars hooked up in the in the cooler weather here at New Hampshire. As we see that 72 of Duchess again, she's still leading right now. They had closed it down to about two tenths, and then a little bit of a fight for the lead for the second place between the 999 and the 88 extended that out to about a four tenths of a second again. As you can see, a pretty much like a three car draft right now trying to catch up to that 72 of Duchess as the 88 is still almost right there to the back bumper of that 999 of Deviant. Sliding up a little bit through the turn is the 88. Still thinking about it is that 88 of NM. He's trying to work down to the inside of the 999 of Deviant. Deviant's getting great runs off the turn, off of turn three, uh, sorry, two and four. And NM isn't just, it's just isn't able to put the power down enough to get down to the inside and around the 999 of Deviant. I think he's gonna need some help by the 203 of Science and possibly that 356 of Ice Cream some days as she slides way high out of the groove. I don't know if that was a bump by the 11 of TC Roberts, but the 356 of Ice Cream some days absolutely slides way high through the turn, allowing that 11 of TC Roberts to get down to the inside, as well as the 07 and possibly the 329, but Ice Cream Hammer down off the turn through down the back stretch, able to keep her position here after losing that one to the 11 of TC Roberts as we see the 329 sliding a little bit high right there in front of the 34 of Super Snake. Again, your leader still that 72 of Duchess. She's led seven, 18 of the first 19 laps here today. So Deviant got that one lap led and then Duchess powered that car that Chevy for Douche Motorsports out to the front. So we're inching ever closer to halfway here today. Speeds have fallen off just a little bit. About half a second is all they've fallen off so far. And uh, that last lap by Duchess was a one was a 28.889 as opposed to the 28.319 by Veteran Chaos, the fastest lap so far. Check in on the back of the field as we do see that 33 of Harvey Jones fall into the last position right now. Most everybody's just single file line here as we go through this field. We do see the 544 fi fighting right there with the 20 of Adam B5000 and the 799 of Mike Check. So when Adam gets around that 544, he is definitely going to be in hot pursuit to try to get that position back as we see Mike sliding up high to possibly go with the 544 there. Looks like we got our first pit stops of the day by the 999 of Deviant and the 88 of NM, so they're into the pits here. Second place, gives up second place to the 203 of Signs, so Deviant. We're gonna see what he can do with douche, or sorry, with uh, the Drop Bear Racing Team here. See if we can get a good view of him. Right side tires going on for that 999 of Deviant, the pole sitter here today. Looks like it's gonna be a four tire stop for the Drop Bear Racing Team as left side tires going on. Fuel going in, he is just waiting forever as that 999 of Deviant, not sure. He is finally down and away. So Deviant gonna lose a few positions right there. As the double zero of Mudbone may have had just a fantastic pit stop right there. So basically the rest of the field in as Duchess 
led the first 23 laps. About five laps from halfway, we're going to see where Duchess comes out of the pits as the 88 of NM has that car fired up, hammered down. He is... Oh, it's a drag race for the first position between the 88, the 11, and the 72. The 88 on the outside right there, fresh, warmer tires, warmer tires broken in, and I believe your leader right there at the line is going to be the 88 of NM. So Duchess comes into the pits in the first position. I think she's going to come out basically in the second or the third as she has, as that 11 of TC Roberts has, who we saw possibly bumped the 356 of Ice Cream some days, has worked himself up to the second position with from Aces, for Aces to Z Motorsports. TC started ninth here today, and again, up to the second position. And we're going to check in on Deviant, who fall, has fallen back to the 12th after those pit stops. So rough pit stop for the pole sitter. As we see a, a three-way battle right now for the second position between the 11 of TC Roberts, the 72 of Duchess, and the double zero of Mudbone. Mudbone looking to win his second race of the season after winning uh, Daytona here earlier this year. Let's go through your current top 10 after those point after those after those pit stops. So your leader right now is the 88 of NM. Second's going to be the 11 of TC Roberts. Third will be the 72 of Duchess. Fourth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Fifth will be the 203 of Signs. Sixth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Seventh will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Eighth will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Ninth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 96 of Nico. So Nico has worked himself up to the top 10. Uh, current, he had started 16th on the day. Wishbone Attack started 17th on the day, so moved himself up. Trying to see where... Let's check in on where Adam started 10th. I think the rest of these folks started in the top 10 here today. So, again, Deviant falling back to the 12th position right now. We're going to see if he can make any of those up. And I'm thinking that we were lap 25 was in it. Everybody came in. Your leader at halfway is going to be, just as a note, your leader at halfway will be that 88 of NM. So he's going to get those five bonus points for leading a lap and the five bonus points for leading at halfway. As we see the 72 of Duchess, I wouldn't say wasting no time as she's, she rode behind the 11 of TC Roberts for a little bit, but she's definitely trying to get that second position back from the 11 of TC Roberts. And, you know, again, if there is a pit stops at the end of this race, Duchess went a lap further than everybody else. So theoretically, she's pitting on lap 52. And NM is pitting on probably lap 50. So it's going to be very, very close at the end of this race as to whether they can make it all the way or not. And I'm, I know, you know, like I'm already doing the pit or the fuel calculations here in my head and, you know, all that crew chief math, as I always say. But I think it, I don't know if they can go an extra 10 laps. We'll see. But I believe that at least NM's going to have to stop on probably lap 50. So he's got about 17 laps before he has to stop. And then Duchess is probably going to have to stop on at least lap 51 or 52. So we'll check back through this field. See what's going on. We check in on that 999 of Deviant who is now up to... The 11th position as he got around that 40 of Veteran Chaos. So Deviant trying to make a run back to the front. I was going to say a run to the border, but that's Taco Bell, and he drives for in and out Burger. As we see the 799 of Mike Check right there in front of that 3 of Geek Girl Games and a 211 of Hogs. 34 of Super Snake falling back to the 16th position. So we saw Super Snake top 10 for the majority of that first half of the race. 
and it must have been a bad pit stop for Amish Buggy Racing in that 34 of Super Snake as he currently runs in the 16th position. Started sixth on the day. There's your points leader, the 49 of Jetman. Currently running in the 21st position right now here at New Hampshire. Oh, another tough pit stop for the 356. Again, she was top 10. Falling back right now, back to the 22nd position. As we see two Amish buggy racing cars fighting it out right now between the 777 of Seabass and the 666 of Pistol Pete. So Seabass has got a little bit of contention from one of his drivers, the 666 of Pistol Pete. As they work down the front stretch, Seabass going to keep that position, but I think Pistol Pete is trying desperately to get around him as he currently runs 31st in points with his teammate and car owner, Seabass, in front of him in 30th. Checking in on the back of the field. That is going to be the 544 Frederick Winklebaum. So Frederick, who was inching his way to the top 10, has fallen all the way back to last place after those pit stops as we see the 11, the 72, and the double zero have all caught up to your leader, the 88 of NM. Here on lap number 38, with about 22 laps to go. Again, your leader is that 88 of NM. Second's gonna be the 11 of TC Roberts right there behind him. It's almost a four-way battle for the lead at this point with the 88, the 11, the 72, and the double zero. As TC, I thought, was thinking about trying it on the outside right there. Uh, Duchess, I don't know if she's going to be able to take advantage of that. She probably had a let off the gas as TC slid, a bit, slid high through uh, three and four. So that slide by the 11 of TC Roberts, the 72 of Duchess, ain't unable to take advantage. That's going to allow the 88 of NM to just gain a little bit of space there. About three-tenths of a second up right now over the 11 of TC Roberts. And it is just nose to tail for the 72 and the double zero behind him. As we still see that 203 of signs, he is still in. The fifth position as himself and the 29, a wishbone attack, are trying to catch up to that lead four-car breakaway. Out here running by himself is that 20 of Adam B5000. So one thing to always know is, is that we I think we got about nine laps-ish before this 88 has to come in. Nine or ten, nine to ten, I would say. But one of the most important things here at the end of this race, if they decide to pit, is on the pit road and off the pit road. So you've got to get into your stall. You've got to get in there without any contact between anybody else and yourself. And that's a big thing here in the More Freedom Series. With 33 cars this season, there's a little bit more space on pit road for everybody, but still those 33 stalls are just nose to tail here in the more freedom series and if they don't if if the car is in almost in your stall that's behind you then that's going to cause issues you know like so you just have to get on pit road you got to get got to get into your pit stall you got to get out of pit out of uh off of pit road as we see the 72 of Duchess finally making that move on the 11 of TC Roberts here in the waning stages of this fuel run. So Duchess now down to the inside. We're gonna see if that double zero of Mudbone goes with her. He needs to get down that, he needs to get that hammer down, get that power down on that mellow yellow Dodge for Amish Buggy Racing if he's gonna try to get into the third position, get around that 11 of TC Roberts, he's gonna stay high. Maybe help the 11 of TC Roberts here as that 203 of Signs is working in. And here comes the 29 of Wishbone Attack, possibly on the outside right there, I thought. So 72 of Duchess and 
in a precarious position right now with the 11 of TC Roberts as we close in on these final pit stops. As she is able to slide in front of that double zero of Mudbone who pulls it down underneath. So Mudbone working down, working now down to the inside of the 72 of Duchess. Here comes her teammate, that 203 of Signs. Duchess still in the high line. Again, that high line, well, it's while it is not technically the preferred line, it definitely is the better line through the turns as they're able to keep that speed. Uh, New Hampshire relatively, it's a relative flat track here. There's not too much banking in all the turns as we see the 29 of Wishbone attack, pulling back in behind the double zero of Mudbone and we see the 88 of NM here on lap number 47 with 13 to go. He is on to pit road. So your leader, the 88 of NM, coming in for his final pit stop here today. We'll watch him as he comes down. I believe he's going to be the first person on to pit road in this final pit stop sequence. So we see him pull into his pits. Nobody in front, nobody behind. Right side tires going on. Looks like it might just be a two-tire stop for that 88 of NM. He is down and away. Fuel is in. Two-tire stop. And he is back out on the track. As we're going to assume that 72 of Duchess. Oh, and I'm looking at your timing and scoring. And it's going to be a tough break. Today for that 96 of Nico, his engine gearbox goes down here today. So Nico, who was running top 10, has his engine gearbox go away, and he is going to be out of the race here today. But Duchess coming in for her final pit stop. she got to slow down a little bit for that 70, 33 of Harvey Jones. That might cause her issues as we see her teammate, the 07, trying to pull in. So congestion on pit road for that 72 of Duchess. She's got right side tires going on. That Sugar Land Shine Harboro Chevy for Douche Motorsports. Fuel is in. She is finally down and away. Here comes her teammates, both two teammates, the 329 and the 07. As it looks like your leader after those pit stops is going to be the 11 of TC Roberts. So TC for, um, or for Aces to Zed Motorsports puts a heck of a pit stop underneath him and able to get out in front of the 88 of NM. So Duchess led 25 laps here today. I think that she's going to probably get, unless NM can catch this 11 of TC Roberts and get past him, she's going to be the one that leads the most laps as we got about 10 to go here. So a host of Douche Motorsports cars right here, the 72, the 07, the 203, and the double zero, and the 329. So five of the six Douche Motorsports cars basically running on the track with each other. I'm sorry, the double zero is not Douche Motorsports. Uh, that's an Amish buggy racing car. So four of the, of the five, four of the five Douche Motorsports cars right here together. For the six, for the six. We'll talk about winners and losers on that pit stop. Big winner of the day is your first place leader right now, the 11 of TC Roberts, as he leads by a half a second over the 88 of NM. The 999 of Deviant still out in the 11th, so better pit stop list last go round for that 999 of Deviant. Again, second week. On the tour here for the 999 in that Drop Bear Racing Team pit crew. So still getting their getting their uh, sea legs, as it were, for the 999. But, uh, you know, better pit stop second go round. Still in the 11th position. I'd say that the... Uh, trying to look and see where some other people are right here. Again, the 96 of Nico, blown gearbox, so he's going to be out of the race today. The 25 moved up as from those pit stops. 49 to Jetman up to 19th 
Three of Gir Geek Girl Games up to the ninth position. Third in points, who is the Queen of Hearts, currently running way back in 29th right now. So Queen, not a great setup, I guess, for the uh, Red Bull Toyota for Aces to Zed. Currently, again, currently running in the 29th position right there behind the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Commanding lead right now for this 11 of TC Roberts. And we're going to see if he is able to pull this off here today with just a handful of laps to go. And him really just hanging out about four tenths of a second back. Uh, not much he can do as maybe catch a little bit of draft on that bird's eye Toyota. But it is pretty much TC's race to lose at this point and it's going to almost take a miracle for that 88 of NM to get up here and get around him. Checking in on the Douche Motorsports crew. Currently running uh, third will be that 203, fourth will be that 72, fifth, sixth will be the 07 as we see the 329 of Heck of a Duper working underneath that three of Geek Girl Games. This is a battle last year for the championship between this 329 and the three. So Duber with that new Baja Blast scheme on that 329 is trying to take away the position from the three of Geek Girl Games, put himself into eighth, or she's trying to drive around him on the outside, one or the other. I think it's the G3 is trying to drive around on, on the outside as of right now, but again, commanding lead for this 11 of TC Roberts, still up about four tenths of a second, and NM may be content. I mean, he may not be content to ride in the second position, but second position points are very good here as he's going to get those 10 bonus points. As we see the white flag coming out, for your leader here on the last lap, the 11 of TC Roberts, he's taking it down into one and two for the final time. Again, commanding lead, four tenths of a second, almost half a second up on that 88 of NM. Fantastic pit stops here today for the 11 of TC Roberts. And he'd taken it down, backstretch one more time into three and four. Through three, off of four, here comes your leader, your winner here today at New Hampshire. Is going to be the 11, a TC Roberts. Awesome job today for that 11, a TC Roberts, starting ninth, putting his car up to the points with a lot of help from his pit crew and able to pull out that win. Not a fuel mileage win for the 11, a TC Roberts, who had that last season. Uh, just a straight normal win. <laughs> so let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the 11 of TC Roberts. Second will be the 88 of NM. Third will be the 203 of Signs. Fourth will be the 72 of Duchess. Fifth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Sixth will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Seventh will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Eighth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Ninth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. So awesome job today for the 11 of TC Roberts. Again, I can't say it enough. Fantastic job. Um, oh, well, we should jump into what we're doing next week before we go all through all the other stuff. Next week, we head to our first road course of the season. That's going to be at Watkins Glen for the Watkins Glen 44. So very important qualifying for that Watkins Glen. Uh, get your car out into the front and keep it there kind of deal. So that's next week. Let's go through your T or your current points. You're seeing those here on the screen. So I think it's going to be very, very close up at the top of this field. Um, I'm guessing Jetman's probably going to fall and Queen of Hearts is probably going to fall a little bit. TC is going to make up some pointage. Uh, NM is going to make up some points. We're going to see you're seeing that here on the screen. Huge day for Douche Motorsports and the team standings, I assume. We're going to, you're seeing your team and chassis standings here. Um, See who's leading both of those. 
Again, can't say it enough, that uh, pit crew for the 11 of T.C. Roberts absolutely killed it here today at New Hampshire. Get him in and out of the pits and just amazing time. Able to put him out into the lead as a result of that and hold that lead to the end of the race. So again, your winner today is the 11 of T.C. Roberts. Congratulations to him. Amazing job by the 11. And until next week at Watkins Glen. Take care.